Thank you, Mr. Speaker. We, we've heard it referenced a number of times in this place that municipalities across Canada were uh, upset with the Fisheries Act, and that's why the Harper government acted and changed it. And, and I just want to, to reference this again. I mentioned it earlier in debate. The Federation of Canadian Municipalities dealt with this issue in 2012. They brought before the, Federal, the Federation of Canadian Municipalities annual general meeting a motion to urge former Prime Minister Harper to protect habitat, to take those sections out of C-38 that weakened habitat protection. The motion was brought forward by a British Columbian uh, and former Conservative Minister of Fisheries, the Honourable Tom Sidden, who happened to be an elected official within his own area of British Columbia and brought it to the floor of FCM, where it passed. So where municipalities have weighed in on this issue, they called for protection of fish habitat. No question there can be times when there are conflicts for some rural municipalities, but those issues I think have been largely dealt with, and C-68 certainly has the support of municipalities across this country. The Honourable Member for Red Deer Mountain View. Well, I, I thank the member very much for... Uh, for the comment and, uh, of course, uh, her discussion about FCM and some of the, the statements that were presented by uh, individuals at the time. Um, I also, you know, sometimes uh, uh, people get it wrong. And uh, I, I, I think back to, you know, I list, used to listen to David Suzuki as well, but I don't anymore. I mean, this is, uh, sometimes you have to, you have to find out what the motivation is between, between uh, individuals and uh, the statements that they are making and certainly we have to make sure that we are protecting the environment but we also have to make sure that we are able to expand an economy in such a way that we'll be able to have resource uh, money to uh, to do the kinds of things that uh, the Canadians need to have done to build their hospitals to build their schools to make sure that we have safety nets and that's the critical part so we can't just say let's shut down this country let other countries do it we know they're going to, but we're going to be the Boy Scouts. It's not necessary.